Disclaimer. This video is made for entertainment. Because, you know, people like to get likes on Instagram. People like to be admired or adored or whatever whatever you would say it is. So, I feel like without that, it'll be a lot of small heads because it's a lot of big heads. So, people would just have to normally meet people how they meet them. And it would be different. I think it'd be a lot less cheating, too. A lot, a lot less. So, when you think without social media, it's amazing to me women think they're better than somebody. They overestimate themselves and put themselves on this pedestal because of an app. An app. Oh, a fucking app. Women think they Beyonce or Rihanna because of a fucking app. And this is another thing. Women always talk about men lying all the time. They lying all the time. They wearing lashes, makeup, wigs, fake nails, thick ass hair. They buying sheens. They lying about how they got money when they broke his shit, sharing their best friend clothes. They lying like motherfuckers. <laughs> so look, look like to me, they're the best liars, the women. I agree. And they lying about their height because they, they wearing heels. You ain't that fucking tall. Niggas actually really lie about their height, though. That should be illegal. What, what's the least attractive thing a man can say to a girl? Um... I can't speak for a girl, but for me, the least attractive thing that people have said to me or always say to me is you're pretty for a dark girl or some shit like that. That's just so disrespectful. Oh, I can't hear the last part. You got to speak up. That you're pretty for a dark girl. Are you dark skin or you brown skin? I don't know. I'm dark skin. Okay. Why is it the vibe between dark skin versus light skin? Because if people think dark skin are better fighters, and light skin are soft or the dark skin are ugly because they're darker and light skin are pretty. Why do you think that's been going on? Um, me personally, it's a self hatred thing. Uh, it's very, it's it goes way back, of course, because I really like to get into colorism because it's it's really a deep topic for real. I don't think it's a hate thing between us two. I think it's the fact that dark girls were very much bullied, very much put to the side, and always seen as lesser than a light skinned woman. So maybe that could have caused us to have not me personally but i'm gonna say us because as a whole maybe that could have ca caused us to have some like resentment towards lighter toned girls but it's still could, like today it could be a pretty dark bitch and then it could be a medium a medium ugly light-skinned bitch and somehow she's more attractive because she's lighter toned or she has curly hair and it'd be the black men that go for that which means and their mom would be black with bdbs in the back so it, it gives me self-hatred you said bdbs BDBs in the back. What that mean? We got no little naps in the back. <laughs> oh god. Why? Right. Do you believe if Beyonce was darker, three complex darker, she had the same success she got? No. And why so? Um. It's hard to explain and. Beyonce is a great, great, great performer. Like nobody can ever take away from Beyonce. She's Beyonce. But I can name like maybe five other singers that have powerhouse voices that are way more talented as far as like vocals and music goes. But I don't think they would be able to have the success that she had. She has that look to her. Like, you know, mm -hmm. even, even wow. Kelly Rowland, like Kelly Rowland's beautiful. She's good behind Beyonce. She has a beautiful voice, but like, you know. And they kind of look a lot. Kelly Rowland kind of looks like a dark Beyonce, but everybody's going to see Kelly as. Wait. Yeah, Kelly, Kelly Rowland looks amazing, though. Kelly Rowland looks amazing, though. God damn it, Kelly looks. Kelly had me rolling. Kelly be having me rolling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite was always Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey always did it for me, though. God damn Boy, I love me, Mariah Carey. She was fine. <laughs> Everything the same. Yeah, I love Mariah Carey. I like Mariah Carey music way more better than Beyonce. And Mariah Carey been singing way longer than Beyonce. Yeah. Ooh. Mariah Carey was singing since the damn the early nineties and the eighties and shit. And Beyonce was still goddamn yeah, crazy in the elementary. Yeah, Mariah Carey was doing like background for Babyface and stuff like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Okay, I got a couple more before I let you go. So why is it that the music industry and the culture is promoting women to be like? be hoes and shit when they know damn well guys ain't trying to marry hoes honestly it's a gimmick it's um 
It's a way to make money because the bitches that be doing all that, promoting being a hoe, they be having whole niggas and, and full relationships. So, I don't know. It's just, I guess, it's glorified today. I don't know why. I would like for it to go back to the way it used to be with the old r and but... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I I personally don't listen to that. Like, I don't listen to no no rah rah ta ta tricking like that. Megan Thee Stallion, Gorilla. I don't suck on my click. Suck sexy red. Oh, I mean those songs is catchy. Yes, I listen to Pound Town. Yes, I listen to a few of Gorilla songs. But no, Gorilla not gonna be in my rotation every day. I like to listen to Janae Eco. Like, oh, so you like them sneaky hoes? Ah, she not sneaky. She's very angelic. Yeah, right. Man, that girl be getting pounded out probably by everybody in the industry. Yeah, mm. not, not Janae. Janae is definitely a lover girl. She's definitely for sure a lover girl. She loves the streets. Nah, she took two niggas back that cheated on her. She loved her niggas. She don't even. Oh, 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 hold up. Wait a minute. You said Janaeco was a lover girl. You realize how she got with Big Sean? She was still married to the other dude and left him for him? Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Nah. She left Big Sean for the, she was married. He loves him. Yeah, he was, huh? He loves him, though. Like, don't uh, let your... Uh, 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 hell no. She was a married woman doing with Big Sean. Um, don't let your husband keep you away from your soulmate. Period. You said what? Don't let your husband keep you away from your soulmate. What the fuck? So you saying it's okay for women to cheat? <laughs> of course. I mean, not, she didn't cheat. She didn't cheat. They wasn't. They was already like rocky or whatever. And yeah, she didn't cheat. I don't know. You I ever heard the same thing? You get them how you lose them, right? Of course. All right now, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a sweet girl for you guys. She left her husband. Yeah, okay. All right, this last one. Why is that? A, when a man with money would change a broke woman's life, but a woman with money won't even look a broke man's way. Mm. Me personally, I feel like men like to take on that role, especially if they were raised in like a certain way. They like to be the provider. And in a sense, a man should be the provider, like, because, you know, that's what a man should do. He should be the head of his household, things of that nature. But if you're a woman with money and you have like a a decent amount of money. There's really no reason for you to talk to a broke man at all. Mm. Me personally, like, what can what can a broke man do for you? Wow. Whew. Boy, I tell you, man, this generation is lost. Lost. This is lost cause right here. Okay. Uh, now, Stacey Ray said she caught like chlamydia twice. Though. You ever caught an STD twice? A guy gave you STD before? I never had no fucking STD in my life. What you do if you had STD? Never have sex again. That's disgusting. There's no reason for me to ever have an STD. I don't even sleep around and none of that. I don't play by my body. Uh, okay. Well, how you feel about Kashawn Rock and Blueface fighting and she pregnant smoking weed rolling up? Do you think that's cool? I didn't know she was smoking weed and rolling up. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's cool, but I've seen women smoke weed during pregnancy. Um, It's actually not something that's it's actually something that's very normal. I see a lot of people do. I'm not saying it's something that I would do because I definitely wouldn't. But I see, um, I definitely be seeing women smoke weed when they're pregnant. How I feel about Krishan and Blueface, though, I kind of watch their show. Um, I feel like Blueface is not solely the problem. Like, I feel like everything is not on Blueface. I feel like the, the world trying to put it all on Blueface, but Krishan's really crazy as fuck and a lot to deal with. Like, and I mean, he should. Put her hands on, put his hands on her, but she be beating that nigga ass like the bitch is strong. The bitch is strong. Anybody can tell the bitch is strong. So you punch a nigga in the face back to back, he gonna swing you around a little bit. I mean, don't hit nobody. You know, you grow up, you hit somebody, they gonna hit you back. Period. I thought women were fighting. I thought they said they need to be protected and they're speaking out against domestic violence. And you know, everybody was mad at Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown, the monster. He Rihanna beat in the. Uh -uh, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And he was 18 years old in that Lamborghini. And actually, she initiated the fight first, though. She threw the, hit him in the face and threw the keys out the car. But nobody talks about that. See, people talk about what they want to talk about in the story. They leave bits and pieces out. But 
I thought women was, you know, protecting black women and all that, but they tune in and watch Blueface and Krishan Rock domestic violence. How the fuck do that make sense? Um, me personally, I didn't finish the show. I wanted to watch it because I did want to kind of see, like, what goes on past, like, a post on a shade room. I don't glorify domestic the violence, I know that it's two sides to every story, and I don't blame Chris Brown for what happened. Like, the bitch was hitting him, and she spit in his face, too. Like, all that. And, I don't know. I, Me, personally, I am against domestic violence when it's really domestic violence. But if you hitting a nigga, and you beat his ass, and then when he hit you back, you call the police, then you're part of the problem. Are you toxic? Because if you watch that show, I think your ass is toxic as a motherfucker. Your ass is poisonous. No, I'm not toxic. I decided to educate myself. Like I watched it. I watched a few episodes. I did not finish it. It wasn't something I could just keep watching. But it allowed me to see like a different part to what everybody else saying. They just want to blame Blueface. He is very narcissistic and weird as fuck. So I'm not gonna say I I like Blueface or I agree with him. But it's not it's not just all on him thing. He's not the sole person that's fucking everything up. Like, like she be literally hitting that nigga. I can't believe. Man, people tuning in that fuck shit. He can get Hennessy bottles of glass in the back of his head. He with this saber tooth tiger looking ass bitch, snagger tooth bitch. This shit's fucked up, right? This is what happened to you. I don't feel like Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion either. You don't and think I, so? Nah, and I, I know a lot of women disagree with me on that. Like a few people unfollow me and all that, but I don't care. Like free Tory. Free Tory. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I look at it like this right here, man. Why was a gun even out though? Like. Why did he Bro, they the said out? that he wasn't even the one who grabbed who grabbed the gun. That it was the best friend. She had the gun first. What? And she he let off a shot, but it didn't hit nobody. And she pleaded the fifth in court. So I'm really trying to. Figure, so she went. You only plead the fifth if anything that you say could incriminate yourself. That's what pleading the fifth is. If something that come out your mouth could pop, could possibly incriminate you, you plead the fifth because that's your amendment, right? So. Something about the story not adding up. And then for them to try to get some eight years, how did you get shot in both feet? You was back dancing. You didn't have no But she was hurt. She was back outside the, the next day. Next fucking day, no wounds for real. Like, but she did get shot, though, because she went to the doctor that day exactly. She did get shot, but... I think she got great. She got great. But listen, listen, though. I think nobody will ever know the true story. They're going to die. They're going to take that shit to the grave. Cause I know how hoes do. Hoes would never tell it. She ain't even gonna tell that shit to her husband in the future. Yeah. She gonna, she yeah. gonna take that shit to the grave. She ain't gonna say it on her deathbed. But I tell you one damn thing though. This is what happens when you fucking a woman and you're trying to be a player, guys. When you're trying to fuck both friends and you think you got it like that, when it don't and it backfire. This is what happens. But you know what I really think though too with the Megan Stallion situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like she was dishing shit she couldn't take no more. Because it was okay for her to sling that pussy. But when he started slinging that dick, she couldn't take that shit. Oh, man. Yeah, because he, he was fucking her friend, I believe. Yeah, he was fucking Kelsey. He was piping her out. He was, uh, uh. And he was trying to, he was trying to fuck on Kylie at the, uh, the pool party and shit, too, though. She didn't like that shit, though. But they ain't together, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, if it's up, then it's right. stuck. Hey, this I ain't had no business fucking on Tory Lanez anyways. What? So, I don't know. What's wrong with Tory? Because he's short? Yeah, that's, I don't know. All right, so short guys want to know this. Don't you do that shit. Don't you disrespect short, man. I ain't saying, I'm short myself, but she's too big for that. And it, man, I look at it like this here, man. She was, I, this is what fucked me up, too. I'm glad you brought it up. I forgot about that case, man. Uh, when she said in court, I wish she would have killed me that night. I said, yep, yeah, his ass going to jail. They're going to throw your ass under the jail. They're going to bury you alive. I said, oh, shit, them girls want to jump across that table and knock the shit out of his ass. I said, oh, <laughs> shit, it's dope. But she knew exactly what she was doing. Something's off about the situation. The industry, the industry is a very, very evil place. Like, you, you could just tell by how the way shit worked. Like, something something else behind the scenes had to happen for like them to try to be burying Tory Lanez in the dirt like this because that it's just crazy how it all played out like it, it's crazy to me so it's, it's but, weird but this, it's crazy do you feel like they should have brought up her sexual history i feel like they should have brought that up in court they should have brought up the fact that she's a she gets like sloppy fucking drunk everybody says she's a very aggressive drunk she hits people she pull on them she curse people out Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's small, he's a little nigga, so who knows? Like 5'2. He probably felt threatened by the bitch. 
Yeah, but I still feel like, man, that gun shouldn't have been around. You don't need it. To, he could have just slapped her upside the head and punched her in the throat. He ain't had to pull that gun Chuck out. Kelsey <laughs> is the one who had the gun up first. And she let off two shots. So apparently they was fighting over the gun. This from what I heard. And yeah. he ended up getting it. And I, I feel like he probably tried to, like, shoot some, like, wait, I don't know what you call it. When you just shoot to, like, you know, calm everything down. And like it shots or something yeah, and it grazed her feet. And it grazed her feet. Right. Yeah. But you know what fucked him up though? Cause when he got locked up the next day, when he got locked up the next day, he was calling up Kelsey and he was saying, I'm sorry. So that was fucked. Did you hear those phone calls? He was like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I was drunk. I was drunk. I was like, Yeah, he fucked it. Oh man. If they heard if the jury heard that shit, yeah, he done. Cause everybody knows mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely talking about shooting right now. Yeah, he's talking about, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it to happen. He was like, uh, what else he said? This was, this was fucked it up. He said, did it make the news? Did it make the news? Hell yeah, it made the damn news. That's a female that got shot, motherfucker. That's crazy. I didn't. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, did you think he was going to beat the case, though? Immediately? Because at first, it looked like I thought he was going to beat it. Me well, personally, I did, I did. I'm not going to lie. I thought that Tori was going to beat that case. The way he was going so hard about it. First of all, we, like you said, we literally never gonna know because they both gotta be some big ass. All three of them some fucking liars. <laughs> the way Party Man's went so hard, he dropped the whole album, everything. He was like, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna know. Like he was praying about it on live and shit. Like he he was going real hard. Like he did not commit this crime. So I'm just like, damn. Well, maybe he ain't do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I think he should have been doing all interviews talking. I think he should have kept the fuck up. And then did you hear about the shit, the phone call? He was trying to pay the bitch off a million dollars? I was like, oh, shit. Who? Kelsey? No, no Tori was trying to pay Megan off a million. Like, shut the fuck up. Wow. Uh, but it's crazy, though. I feel like Megan lied so bad. It's, she lied and said she didn't get shot. She lied about It was glass. <laughs> She said it was glass, and then she said she lied because she didn't want to see no black man get shot. It, I don't like this. Don't make no sense right here, bro. What the fuck? I don't know. If a nigga shoot me, get him immediately now. The fuck? <laughs> you damn. Are you still bumping Tory Lane's music? Most definitely. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Free Tory. I'm still bumping the music. Uh, very unfortunate case. Um, thanks. I don't know what to say about it though. Uh, you look at Megan differently after this. I never really liked her. I'm not gonna lie. You never cared for her music. Yeah. So like, I'm not like a follower of hers. I just um, that's crazy. I just like I see her on Instagram. She looks really cute, like cuter than she usually do. And I haven't posted one of her pictures on my story, but now nah, I really like Megan Thee Stallion like that. Ever since she had G Easy sucking on her face and shit, like all. The years back, I don't know. She always been getting weird. Man, she been fucking on everybody. The baby, yeah, she, uh, Ben yeah, Simmons, she, she been weird. It's like she loved her a short nigga. She was fucking on the baby too. Yeah, she definitely was. I mean, he, the baby. He, he, that's the baby right there. It ain't he's my fine. baby. Yeah. He's fine. You, you said what? He's fine. Yeah. Hey, man, he's a Carolina nigga. Man, he's a Carolina dude. You know, uh -huh. from that from the seven oh four. But uh, Silent. yeah, man. He, from down there, keep from down there, that country. Uh, oh, this is the last one for real. This is the last one. Like, you've you been keeping up the YNW Melly case? Yeah, I watch it every day. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Okay, okay. I so, why are you today, though? That's, today's the only day that I didn't watch it. I need to watch it today. I need to check on another DJ academic. But, uh, all right, this goes to my, my point right here. So, why are people praising YNW Melly but getting mad at Lil Tim for Quando Rondo Man for shooting King Von? Because Melly killed his friends, Lil Tim protected his man from getting his ass whipped from a Chirac killer. This man got allegedly about eight to ten bodies on. Like he ain't really nothing to fuck with this guy. But why do you think people are siding more about... with Melly than Vaughn? Than than um, I don't know. I like Melly, but with the whole Lil Tim thing, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Like. I mean, RIP to King Bond, because that's going to sound wrong, but you got to know what you're getting yourself into. Nowadays, niggas not fighting no more. They shooting. You already know how you, how they know that you coming. So, he, I don't know why he wasn't expecting that. 
but with the Melly thing, it's different. Like, um, I we nobody knows a hundred percent. Like, and that's for everything. Yeah, the man did, did kill the motherfuckers. If he beat this shit, oh hell no, it. man. Who the hell did it? They caught the man location. He gonna beat it for sure. Nah, you they, think he gonna beat it? Oh, if you've been into this case, if you've been really into this case for real, it's not even a matter of if he committed the crime or not. It's a matter of can they prove he committed the crime. And but I can't. But, but let me ask you guys yourself this question. All they got to figure out is why did they ride around with the dead bodies before they went to the cops? And they got a Snapchat well, location. Was, they got them go. Everyone wasn't even in the car riding around with the dead bodies. It was the other they, Why did they lie and say it was a drive by? And why they lied about that? And they still got to know why are they phone locations with the dead bodies? They the can't thing, answer those questions. The thing is, though, the, him and the other dude are getting tried separately. So with the other dude, Melly was not around for none of that shit. The other dude is the one that lied to the police. The other dude is the one that pulled up to the hospital. It was just him in the front seat and the two dead bodies in the back seat. So as far as that, they can't say anything about Melly correlating to that. Did you see the father speak? Did you hear the father of Wyvin and Juvie? His father speak out on this shit? No. Yeah, you gotta listen to his father. I, I believe he did it, though. Do you believe he did it personally? Because I think the man did it, bro. Me, personally, I feel like he could have did it. But I don't, I don't. I can't say for sure. I can't say for sure that he did it or if he got somebody to do it. I know he's he's somewhat behind it, but I don't know if he pulled the trigger. I know he's behind it, but I do personally feel like they cannot prove with reasonable doubt. They don't have enough evidence. They don't even know what murder weapon, what type of murder weapon was used to kill them. They haven't. They've never found a murder weapon. They if, said they don't even know what kind of. If this, if, if, they, if, they, if, they, if, they don't have a motive either, too. So. If he beat this case, this is going to be worse than when Boosie beat that murder case in Louisiana when he hired Marlo Mike. You need to go look up that story right there. When Boosie beat a murder case with Marlo Mike as his hitman at 14, this is going to be worse than that case. And this is going to be worse than the Casey Anthony case that happened in Florida, too, for all y'all people who don't know this. Nah. If he beat this shit, I don't understand how, but nah, I don't Casey know. Anthony should have never beat that case. That was this, very fucking weird. This, is, this is kind of remind me of the same situation. No. Nah. Because Casey Anthony, it was too much evidence towards that. It was that whole case was very weird. She, she beat Melly that though, Melly has a, a excellent fucking lawyer. So it, this this child could go either fucking way, really. It could go either way. Listen, man. I think if Melly be if, even if you do manage to beat this, I still feel like he got to live with those demons the rest of his life. He got to live with those sins he committed. Like, man, when you, that murder shit, man, like, you, you Motherfucker gonna be getting hired. He still will never be at peace. I feel like for what he did, but I know he did it though. But you like though the justice system about what you know is about what you can prove though. But I appreciate you coming on though, man. You got any questions? Would ask me if I let you go. Nah, you gonna post this? Yeah, I'm gonna post this shit. It's going on YouTube. Okay, okay. I'm gonna edit it out. Oh, shit, you know what I'm saying. But I appreciate you showing love though and shit. Of course, of course, it was a good conversation. For sure, man. We use it. You too.